Hi everybody, on this episode we visit Punaka Zong in Bhutan. Formerly named Puntang Techen Potrang Zong, the palace of bliss or great happiness, Punaka Zong, was built in 1637. The location of the majestic fortress is said to have been chosen by the founder of Bhutan, Zaptrung Navang Namyal. Punaka Zong takes pride in being the second oldest and also the second largest Zong in Bhutan. The Zong is part of the Drukpa Linage of the Kagyu school of Buddhism in Bhutan. Its magnificent structure showcases the world-class architecture of Bhutan and finest Bhutanese craftsmanship. In fact, Bhutanese architecture has inspired building designs from all over the world, including the architecture of an entire university campus, UTEP in Texas, United States. Paka Zong is truly one of the most beautiful Zong in Bhutan and one of the most visited places by tourists. Punaka Zong is a six-story structure with an Utse central tower, located at an elevation of 1,200 meters. Punaka Zong structures such as the doors and windows was built using rammed earth, stones and timber. The Zong measures 180 meters in length and 72 meters wide with three doches courtyards, unlike the other Zongs that usually have only two courtyards. The northern yard is where all the administrative functions take place. The courtyard consists of a large white stupa and a body tree. The third courtyard is the most important of all as it houses the main temple and national treasures. Unfortunately, you are not allowed to enter. Only the two designated guardians, Lama, the king and the chef abbot can access it. Aside from that, the Nok Yulbum temple houses the original volume of Kanjur, which is the golden holy book of the Drukpa school of Tao. Served as the government's central location until the mid-50s, Punaka Zong is deeply rooted in history and significance. For many years, Punaka Zong served as the seat or the central location for the government of Bhutan until the capital relocated to Timpu in 1955. The 
The majestic fortress remains Punakas District Administrative Center housing several religious relics. The fortress also served as the venue for the notable royal wedding of the fifth king, Jigme Kesar Namgyel Wanchuk and Queen Jetsung Pema. In 1939 and 1944, the Tibetan attacked Punaka but thanks to its defenders, the attack was averted and the fortress survived to stand the test of time. A commemorative chapel was built to house the armed sized from the Tibetans who were defeated by the Bhutanese on this spot. From 1744 to 1763, the Zong was enlarged substantially during the rule of the 13th Tesi when Sherab Wanchuk was the chef abbot. The Zong suffered numerous fires between 1750 and 1849 and was severely destroyed by an earthquake in 1897. Punaka Zong sits at the confluence of the Mochu female and Pochu male rivers. To access the Zong, you will need to cross the Bazam Bridge, rebuilt in 2008 after several floods swept away the original bridge built in the 17th century. The 100 pillar hall, which has exquisite murals, is a fascinating sight for tourists to admire. Inside the zone, there are beautifully carved woodwork and colorful paintings. The zone is also very picturesque and a great spot for photography. Punaka Zong was also the venue for the notable royal wedding of King Jigme Kesar Nam Yalwanchuk and Queen Jetsun Pema held on 13 October 2011. For the best experience, visit the spectacular fortress in May. It's the season where Georgius Jacarandas blossom, beautifying the courtyard of Punaka Zong. The popular annual Punaka Cheshu Festival and Punaka Drupchen is also held in Punaka Zong in either February or March. If you like our Punaka Zonk video, we would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to our channel for the future contents. See you!